tú vas aquí, tú mire. Si la verga aquí, la va... See me? Good, I'm focused. Now, I just wanted to jump on here real quick and thank all of you guys for the support last year. It definitely meant a lot to me, meant a lot to the guys. I'm probably gonna be doing this setup a little bit more this year, a little bit more FaceTime, get personal with you guys a little bit here. Um, this video that we're gonna check out here is part 10 of the longest concrete retaining wall series. You can check out the link below to get caught up. You can kind of binge watch that and study Netflix. But again, personally, I just wanted to get on here. First video of the year. Thank you guys. Definitely appreciate it. Hope everyone's having a positive year so far. So let's get into this video. And yeah, this is what we're going to do this year. Appreciate you guys. All right, that was me on the ones and twos. I mean, on the video, true. So I, again, I just want to say, uh, definitely appreciate you guys for rocking with us all of last year. That definitely meant a lot to me and it meant a lot to the guys. Our little subscriber count is going up. So definitely appreciate that. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to do that while you're down there, hit the like button. This is part of the longest concrete retaining wall on YouTube series. You can check out parts one through nine to get caught up to where we are here. This is part 10. And this is the second part of this, the longest part of the retaining wall. This part of the retaining wall, I believe, was about 300 feet. So this is about 160, 170 feet, I believe. It's going to average about eight and a half feet tall, 10 inches thick. So if you guys have any comments, any questions, leave those down below. Again, hit that like button while you're down there. A little later, I'm going to give a little explanation. Sorry about that. That was the phone. A little explanation on how we went about putting this rebar cage together to get ready to build the wall. The next video will be us building the wall. And the one after that will be us pouring and stripping the wall. So definitely appreciate you guys let's get into this video sit back relax enjoy the music any questions any comments leave those down below let's get into it so here you can see this little template here what this does what this allows is us to place our stakes exactly two feet six inches apart with the price of concrete nowadays, we just don't want to waste any concrete that's not necessary on all our jobs. Just because it's construction is nothing is perfect or exact. We always bid plus or minus one yard of concrete. All right, so we are in Cali, so rebar is a must. This is earthquake country. But one thing with me, I'm always looking to make any job that we do it more efficient. So these rebar tying guns is definitely the MVP here. It definitely saved us a lot of time. I just can't, I remember doing this all by hand. I can't imagine doing all this rebar with this footing and with the wall. You'll see that video later on by hand. We'll probably still be tying rebar. So. With us, we always looking to get tools, equipment, whatever we can to make the job that much more efficient. Each job we try to improve on upon the last job. So if you're in the Sacramento, San Francisco Bay Area, you can hit us up. We are the right ones when it comes to building these retaining walls. All our information is below.
check us out on instagram that's where i kind of give a behind the scenes look on what it takes to put these projects together also you've probably been seeing some youtube shorts come through your news feed so be sure to hit that like button or subscribe to it when you see that it was come across in fact if you guys see it come across and you want our regular subscribers leave a comment i'm trying to see how that works how it's affecting our algorithm but what i do know to help our algorithm if you guys hit that like button greatly appreciate it All right, so we set the pour here. This is what we have. It's a gray bean. It's about, it's actually a gray bean pure type system here. You can kind of see the slope that we have here. This wall is gonna be about, I'm gonna call it eight to nine feet high. We got the cage, it's two and a half feet wide, two feet thick, all these piers. Check out the last video about 12 to 14 feet down number six verticals number six no number seven verticals uh with the four number four squares this particular section of this wall is approximately 160 feet long like i said this wall is going to average about seven seven to eight feet high some parts might be eight and a half the cage here is uh two and a half feet wide two feet thick number four squares around them we got those on four inches on center the plan calls for eight but we decided to make it four we had some extra rebar we want to give it a little bit more strength here they'll never ask for they'll always take more but they won't take less these inspectors all of these are l's we got them eight inches on center we made these little u joints to kind of keep them in space and um so they can be properly spaced is about four inches on center. We got the new guy right here. Um, what else we have here? So I'm gonna walk it out with you guys. You ready to use the pump? You use the Millennium Pump Bean. We follow each other on Instagram. He's normally down here in the San Jose area, so I hit him up. Our pump guy was pretty busy. Good guy, we're gonna see how he do. Of course, he's gonna show out. We're about to get to it. You ready? Yeah. Let's start concrete. That's who pumping for us today.
surprise you guys again. So, check out this playlist here, the longest concrete retaining wall on, on YouTube. It's probably gonna be about 20 videos once I finish. You guys can binge watch that. But this is us completing this project, well, the footing of it today, here. So I just wanted to say thank you again. Happy New Year, appreciate all the support. Hang around people that are positive and it's cool to ask for help. And again, check out the longest concrete retaining wall. You guys can binge watch that and study Netflix. Catch you on the next one. Look around.